Rose, what time is it? It's tasting time. Damn right, because we're opening up our little mini cask. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt. I'm a whiskey nerd. My name is Rose and I'm a whiskey noob. And this week we're emptying out a little mini cask that we filled up a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen the video where we filled it up, click here. That's right, so I'm going to empty this out into a couple of bottles and a couple of glasses and then we'll see some tasting notes and see how much of a change the whiskey had from before it went into the barrel to now when it came out eight weeks later. Ooh, I'm excited! So we've just taken off basically two bottles of whiskey from here and what we're going to do next is we're going to actually refill this up with just some standard edition Jameson. I mean just to see if the Jameson can be made better so we're going to do that maybe off camera. Uh, Jameson is nice whiskey, very easy to drink Yeah. but it has a nice bit of sherry notes and since this is a sherry whiskey and it's an old sherry cask I want to see how much more of that influence we can get into the Jameson. So that might be a video maybe in a few weeks time we'll see we'll come back and we'll see how that turned out yeah everyone might be buying a mini barrel after that yeah so right now though the focus is on this so this is actually whiskey from Ahru and uh, Rose just pointed out to me she doesn't know what the word Ahru means I was like means. what does this mean I can barely say it <laughs> so Ahru is an Irish word it means change or evolve and that's quite convenient because we're going to see how this whiskey has changed or evolved over the course of the eight weeks. I'd say there's been, probably will be a bit of an evolution. Yeah. So this is the whiskey where it originally okay. was. This was unchanged. This is after two weeks. This is after five weeks. And this is here after eight weeks. So okay. it's been a nice bit of progression. So we want to see how much of a change it had. If maybe there was a huge influence up front and then the whiskey mellowed. Like right now, you can see the color is very different. Yeah, it's it starts light and gets darker. Yeah, so I think it's gonna have much more of an influence. I wanna see how nice it's gotten. So, let's get to taste of this. Yeah, do you wanna go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Go first. We'll, we'll, I think we'll swap off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you get on the nose, honey? Oh, on the nose! Just, well, this is a really nice whiskey. We have had it before. Yeah. Um, it's nice, It's there's a lot of sherry influence up front. It was aged for six years in Oro, so sherry casks. Mm -hmm. So it's got a lot of like dried fruit, a lot of like maple syrup sweetness. It's really dense, it's really like rich okay. whiskey. And on the palate it's going to be there. So I'm just going to go for it. Give her a taste. And then, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice smell to her. Yeah. Are whiskeys women? Why well, you always say her? I refer to whiskey that's as fun. her. Got a nice body, nice rich. No! <laughs> you! <laughs> um, yeah. Nice bit of spice, nice bit of heat. Now it is like 56% alcohol. So Whoa! Bit of heat, but, right, nice and rich, kind of mouth tingly. Yeah, but for 56%, it's not like strong burn. It tastes like, maybe because the holidays are coming up, but it kind of tastes a little bit like Christmas. Mm. A lot of spice. Yeah. Okay, all right, remember that taste, remember it. So, now I'm gonna go in, this is it after two weeks, and just see how much of a change. Mmm. Okay, After, I have been sipping it over the course of the, the eight weeks. The I have months. not. <laughs> um, there's a good bit of like, I don't know, extra wood in there. Like wood has a, has a taste, wood has a smell, and there's a good bit of extra kind of woodiness coming out of here. Okay. Any particular kind of wood? Well, oak, but like also I'm getting, the kind of fruity notes are a bit more mellowed out, mm -hmm. to me at least, so I'm going for the taste. Taste, see what it tastes like. It's definitely a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. Mm. Much more syrup. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. It's much denser. It also has, if you know the tannic of like, you know, a red wine, yeah. you know, like the red wine tannins, a little yeah. bit of that. A, that's a little bit drier maybe because it's the oak influence. I think it tastes like maple syrup. It's, Alcoholic maple syrup. Maple yeah. syrup for adults. Okay, definitely nice influence. Nice, yes. you know, extra little punch, extra little bang. So let's go in again. And this is after five weeks. Okay. Ooh. Oh, first. I'll go first. Okay, so obviously darker. Obviously darker. Obviously. On the nose, it's definitely sweet. Like there's just really like an evolution uh -huh. of sweetness. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, it's gotten much darker. Like again, yes, physically darker, but also the nose. It's more. I'm getting the dried fruits back, mm -hmm. but almost like where they wear like dried raisins and that kind of stuff. They're almost like dried plums. Yeah. You know, really dark, dense, kind of syrupy fruits. And I don't know if it's because we've had them back to back, um, but like the burn at the end seems to be lessening. Is that a thing that would happen, or is it just because we're having them back to back? Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, right? No, I think I think yeah, we're getting used to the alcohol, obviously. Mm -hmm. But those extra wood, the extra spice notes, like, I think they hide the alcohol burn a bit more. Yeah, I like, think so. It's still got like the tingly on your tongue, the little bit of heat. Yeah. But there's no burn on it. Yeah, so that, that's definitely, yeah. After five weeks, I think. Hmm. Okay. Right? It's definitely become easier to drink, I think, after five weeks than after two weeks. Like, this was great whiskey. Yeah. This added some extra notes, and then mm -hmm. this is kind of mellowed them out. Yeah. So let's see after eight weeks. Ooh, let's Has see. it continued that mellowing out? I think it might because it's gotten darker, and I'm just thinking Canadian maple syrup. Oh my god, it smells like candy. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Like. Guys. Yeah. Um, melted brown sugar. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like seriously, this is some really tasty whiskey. Mm hmm. Like there should be a thing called dessert whiskey after this. Yeah. It's Wait, got... you wouldn't do this at home. Sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah, you could definitely do this at home. This okay. is they they think they sell these, people sell these uh, kind of barrels. Some of them aren't seasoned with cherries, some are. This company that does these, it's um Tunnel area one Pino, and um, I'll put a link to it in the uh, description below because <laughs> yeah. uh, it's hard to find. But they sell little casks that are pre seasoned with sherry or different types of sherry. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That is wonderful. That is like nice. That has a nice long evolution to it. Yeah. Like I think the oak notes are getting more and more apparent. Mm -hmm. The alcohol burn is definitely fading. I think it definitely would hit probably a tipping point mm -hmm. where it would get over oaked. Oh, okay. We're probably like that dry kind of tannic feeling that I get. Maybe. Yeah. Do you want to go back? See, I don't get much of a tannic feeling. Mm -hmm. I got it a little early on, particularly like the first or second one. It was super like sort of that red wine tannic bit. But after that, it just tastes so sweet. Not like too sweet, but I'd say if you got, you knew someone who was like maybe not super into whiskey, or even if they're really into whiskey, but they want something a little sweeter, something a little bit more easy to drink, mm -hmm. this is what you need to do. Get a mini barrel. Yeah. Age it yourself. It's not that difficult. Do it. Yeah, it's not difficult because you just pour it in and you wait. You pour it in and just leave it. Uh, yeah, and definitely get you try it out. I just want this one again. There's way more sweet. Try it against the first one though. This oh, is the okay. original. Okay, okay. So there is way more sweetness in here. I think there's a bit more spice though. Well, all that is definitely the burn is way stronger on the first one. It's not because we've yeah. been drinking back back. The burn is stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, it has definitely mellowed it a bit more. Yeah. Those extra you tried notes. it back to back. I did, you? I just did. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. She was just so, so focused in her it's, own notes. I know. <laughs> like, uh, is this the Rose channel? <laughs> yeah. So, let's actually do something a little bit fun. Let's try a little bit of Jameson. And I think I'll just get another glass. So I'll pour a little bit more. And we'll compare this. Also, also, if you haven't seen our whisk, our uh, other video where we compare the different glasses and how it yes. works on the notes, clicks here, probably, somewhere. Probably It'll there. be somewhere. <laughs> um, so mm. Jameson, this is Jameson. It's just so much thinner. There's a lot less in. Ja oh, it's almost like you're drinking. It's okay. It's whiskey, yeah, but it almost tastes like kind of vodka. Mm -hmm. Compared to the, like this has so much extra oak, so complexity, much extra complexity, way more flavor. And this, this is, is just part of, like standard drinking. Your yeah. your standard whiskey. So I think I'm gonna save. What is that? Is that a funnel? Yeah. <laughs> it's like what are you doing? Professional doing? operation here. So Very I'm gonna save a little bit of the Jameson. Okay. Just so that in a couple weeks time we can compare the Jameson mm -hmm. against the. Uh, the Jameson isn't that difficult to get. No. Um, and then we're gonna put more this into here okay. we're going to compare it against and just see how it stacks up in a couple weeks time because it'd be very interesting to see how much of an influence this the fancy whiskey yeah. can have on jameson how much that extra aging how much that extra kind of blending mm -hmm. can help jameson so question jameson yeah. obviously available pretty much everywhere in the world yeah 
Ahru? Ahru. Is that, how it, easy is that to get outside of Ireland? Outside of Ireland it might be hard to find. Now they are a new operation, they are kind of a startup. Mm -hmm. So they are making more whiskies, they've got... Um, They're changing the landscape of whiskey. They are. They have a couple of new whiskies coming out now, and there's a couple more coming out in the new year, so okay. in the start of 2022. And they're just slowly growing. I think they're trying not to rush too hard. I think that's smart given how tasty it is. Yeah, I think they're going slowly, but they're, what they're putting out is very good. Yeah. So I think that's their, that's their plan. So basic gist, if you want to give it a try and it's not available in your country, just maybe take a trip to Ireland. Yeah. Well, of course, pandemic. Pandemic, safety, precautions, all of that. Yeah. So, I think that was a bit fun. I think we're going to finish these off off camera. Uh, yeah. And um, I think I'll hold on to. I'm this one is mine now. I think I'm going to hold on to <laughs> these. Um, I'm just going to use them. Maybe when friends come over, we'll try them out. Show. Ooh, a little whis whiskey tasting with friends. Yeah. And then in a couple weeks' time, we're going to come back to the Jameson mix. There's about, I'd say, a bottle. Like this, this was originally four of these bottles in here, and um, we've taken off one and a half, and we've probably taken off about another half a bottle here mm -hmm. so probably about one one and a quarter of a bottle left in here yes that was what i was going to say because not pure jameson in yes here. so this is now jameson mixed with some of that uh, acro whiskey that's been aged mm -hmm. and see if that can be made into like an infinity bottle yes yeah where we go back and we go back and we it might be out. even the next step in the evolution god <laughs> <laughs> all right well i think that's where we're going to leave this for now uh, we're going to keep on drinking this. I think she's already bagsied that one, so I'll have <laughs> this one here. And we'll see you next time. Slaunch it. Bye bye! Rose, what time is it? It's tasting time. Damn right, we're opening up our little windy. Ugh, that was me. Aha! <laughs> if you haven't seen the video where we uh, poured everything in and did all that fun stuff, click clear.